Hello, people. This is Mark and Lara from Caris Changeworks. Guys, I hope you are well. Today is the 5th of October 2021. The reason why I'm saying this is because yesterday, the 4th of October 2021, was in the world of social media a kind of significant day. Now, for you guys who are regular followers of the channel, you understand that I'm not a social media fan. In fact, I would fan it away because that's as best as it's going to get. However, my colleague and business partner and counterbalance kind of person on the opposite side of that particular scale is far more comfortable in the world of social media than what I would ever be. Correct. Yes? Correct. You are yeah. absolutely correct. Right. Now, me and Laura spoke yesterday and we had a bit of a chat about our dependence on social media. And this is the purpose of this particular video. And it is simply over the last 10, 15 years or so since this social media arena came about, how we become so comfortable and at ease and reliant on social media. Because yesterday, the 4th of October, Facebook and all its connections in terms of other platforms that Facebook owns, such as WhatsApp and is it Instagram or whatever it is? I don't Instagram. know. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah, too complicated for me. And Messenger. And Messenger. It all went down. And ironically, on LinkedIn, within minutes, there were surveys all over the place. What social media are you missing the most? Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, or WhatsApp? Within minutes. So, mm -hmm. Laura, let's have a chat. Okay. How we like I've just looked up on the internet. Go, go, go. Hang on now. And to answer everybody's question, why did it happen? Okay, because that's the question everybody's asking. I'm on indystar.com. And to quote, they say, why was Facebook Instagram down Monday? Facebook said its engineers determined the problem originated with a networking issue that interrupted communication between its data centers. And with the servers unable to communicate, the problem is mounted, causing outages across its systems and its three major social platforms that are being brought back slowly, unquote. So that's what happened, according to Facebook. According what to am that. I most reliant on? I would say WhatsApp, because in South Africa, that's what most people use to communicate, because it's the best option. Um, as everybody knows, being in Africa, our... Um, internet and Wi-Fi is not always the greatest, but WhatsApp seems to be the most reliable. So that would be mine. So, yeah. And it's a platform. But it was very frustrating. All the time. Yeah, correct. Um, all my friends and I speak on WhatsApp, purely because it's the easiest and it's it's accessible to everybody here. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it was a bit of a calamity because we all thought it was our local service providers, but it was actually Facebook itself. Yes. So... Have we become very reliant? Absolutely, because if you don't have that, how do you connect? I mean, some of the um, independent mail systems worked. I know Zoom worked. Um, but other than that, if anything was connected to Facebook, forget it. And everybody is on one of those platforms, whether you're a teenager who loves Instagram and Snapchat, or not Snapchat, whatever else it is, 
and the older generation that likes Facebook, everybody got affected in some way or another. I mean, I'm under correction, but I think Mark Zuckerberg lost 7 billion in the time that, that Facebook was done. They lost $7 billion. So we are very reliant on it. All change for him. Yes. Why have, why have people become so reliant on it? I understand that it is about connecting. Mm -hmm. Water, my friend, what's wrong with the mobile phone? <laughs> okay. From a cost perspective, WhatsApp costs you nothing. All it is is your, do your data and your Wi-Fi. Okay. Comparing that, I mean, let's take an example. I'm in South Africa, you're in England, right? If I had to do a landline call or a mobile call to you, a minute would cost me 50 rand, which is a lot of money here, okay? So if we had to speak as much as you and I speak with the channel and all that stuff online and with a mobile phone, we'd be bankrupt. We wouldn't be able to do it, never. We wouldn't be able to do the YouTube channel or anything like that because it would cost too much purely because of the distance and the rate of exchange and stuff. Whereas WhatsApp costs us nothing, really, in essence. Okay. So what we're saying is, if we sit and think about what you've just this minute said, we've become reliant on these social media ways of communicating It's the means that affect us. And what I'm hearing you say is people need to connect. There's a social element. There's a psychological element. There's a physical element. There's an emotional element that needs to be addressed. And like you and me, we are thousands of kilometers apart. We can't work together as effectively as we want to because of this distance so we have to use the best that is there which is zoom or whatsapp because that fulfills the psychological sector in our in our in our lives your life and my life so if people are living abroad from one person to the other because of cost we use these means that track us in any case Mm -hmm. doesn't matter whether they say it's end-to-end -end encrypted that's anybody can write that it doesn't mean it is but there's a greater thing it's not the it's not the the platform it's not the means it fulfills a bigger need which is people need to interact we are social creatures we need to involve ourselves with other people because if we don't we go mad. Correct. People, people Think about mad. lockdown. Think about lockdown. My families weren't allowed to interact. I mean, in England, you still had your bubbles. We didn't. We couldn't even go to family 20 Ks down the road because it was just that bad here. So you would use social media. You would use WhatsApp to video call or whatever yes. because that is what you had. And for... You know, if you could go to the shop and that, that's fine, but you couldn't go as a whole family. So even for the kids to speak to their friends and that, WhatsApp was the answer. Or social media was the answer because they could access one another without being in physical contact. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think if people didn't have that, we would have a lot of loony tunes going around because people need that interaction, like you say. Physically, it's better to be in contact with one another. But I mean, if that's all you got, speaking and seeing each other online is a lot better than nothing. Yes. And to me, that I understand the 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 getting in touch with relatives and friends and all this kind of stuff. I get all this. And to me, what 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 we're talking about here is the the means to communicate is, is secondary. I mean, back in the day, 
we use this to write. Correct, we did. <laughs> right? It would be interesting having a channel where I wrote you an idea down and have to wait seven months for it to arrive in South Africa for you to read it and <laughs> reply back and I get it three months down the line if I get it. So it could take a year effectively to make a video because of Correct. snail mail, right? Correct. That comes to mobile phone, cell phone, call it whatever phone you like. And it is as if the bridge has now shrunk for easier contact. And of course, now it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You press a few buttons on your phone, which doesn't even have buttons. Correct. So you, 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 you still press the buttons and you can see them, you can hear them. You just can't touch the other person. Which, in a in in a bad situation, it is the best as we got. Now let me ask you this question: mm -hmm. We've become so reliant on social media for communication and contact, mm -hmm. because we are. There's no there's no two ways about it. Do you think that this is but one step in the ladder? to help us to become more and more compliant as technology moves forward, for us to become more and more dependent on the creators of these things in order for us to live more isolated lives and yet on a placebo facade kind of a way, we're still in contact with each other because I have one of these. What's your thoughts on that? <clears throat> yes and no, because you'll always have these people who monopolize, for example, Facebook, because of the platforms they have that are connected. But you're always going to have the independent guys like Discord and Zoom that are not part of them. You're always going to have those guys that are not part of them. So I think, yes, it could be used as a control thing. Absolutely, make no mistake. We know there's pro programming and fake news and all that stuff that gets put out there for a reason. We know this. But I think if you really wanted to go off the grid, so to speak, you have an option. At this stage, still, you have an option. Whether they're going to pass legislation to block those guys in the future, who knows? But for now, you still got a choice. 10 years down the line, 15 down, years down the line, and maybe not so much. But for now, you still have options. But yes, if we want to look at it, it could become a huge factor that would control people and manipulate who you can con uh, have conversation with or communicate with on any level. Because mm -hmm. as yesterday proved, within seconds, you can lose touch with anybody. It kind of reminded me in the movies, you always see these um, um, electric impulses that get released and everything dies. And that was kind of the thought I had. I thought, what a, because like I said, initially we thought it was local, but it wasn't. But if that had to happen, people would have serious problems because you would be able to do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should go back to pen and paper. Oh, Lord, no. That would take forever. No. I mean, do you remember a couple of years ago, you sent me DVDs and it took nine months to get to me. I know. Hello. That's crazy. No. no. Hey, no, no let's no, upgrade no. the pen and paper to pigeon post. Come on. That's even worse. <laughs> Are you going to train the pigeons? I'm not a pigeon trainer. <laughs> Any case. Folks, how dependent are you on social media? How much of a master is this thing? How much of a slave are you to your master? The 4th of October demonstrated 
the urgency of social contact, the need to communicate, the need to be in touch, the need to exchange messages irrelevant of what they might be. And once that's taken away from it, it is as if a freedom, a privilege has been removed from you. And I have to wonder whether this was just a test. I don't care what Facebook says about Facebook. It is only there to tease us. And it's there to tickle our ears and for us to supposedly believe what they're saying is true. Uh, no. But whilst we have these privileges, these freedoms of being able to communicate one to another, regardless of where we are located on the globe. We have to appreciate this one thing. It is not the means that's important, but the means is important. What's more important is simply this, the people with whom you use the means with and for and the reasons behind it. It showed me the, the people in my life who I wanted to contact, in many ways I couldn't because the means got cut off. I felt quite at odds yesterday because there were people I wanted to just quickly, hi, how are you? I'm thinking about you. How are you doing? That got eliminated for a few hours and my head started to play games with me because there was things I wanted to know because of these people who I'm concerned about, these people who I love and appreciate in my life. But I couldn't do it. Now whether they wanted to ask me something I don't know. But it highlights that relationships are important. People are important. We cannot think for a minute that we are going to be okay if we think that we are okay being an island. You can have your little island by yourself. You'll go stir crazy. Interaction is vital. Touch, what we hear, what we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we experience in all the senses that are out there. It keeps us sane, it keeps us stable. In many ways, it keeps us going. It's about appreciating those in your life and being able to have the, the means to say that to them. Hey, so-and-so, I'm thinking about you. I'm worried about you. I'm happy for you. Whatever the message might be, it's a way of saying that to the, 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 the receiver of the message that you want to send. And then receiving the message that they also send. And there's this tennis game, this linguistic dance, as I was talking to myself this morning. It's having this linguistic dance that keeps us moving, it keeps us agile, it keeps us going, keeps us human. The message here is simply Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whilst they are okay, they play second fiddle to the people in our lives. Take the people away, those platforms will still exist. Take the platform away, and then all of a sudden we realize, I haven't spoken to so-and-so for a while. I can't get in contact with them. And it's only then that we start to appreciate the people, the memories, the experiences, the arguments, the sillinesses of the interaction between one person and another. Because whilst we have these freedoms, 
we don't really pay attention to them. Because it's easy for me just to pick up the phone, press a few buttons that don't exist, and I'm on the phone. Or, hi, Lara, hi, so-and-so, hi, mom. And it doesn't matter that much because we are in contact. Take it away. It is as if a part of our soul has been severed away. Agree. That's the message of this video. Appreciate the people in your lives, even those who wind you up, who annoy you, who irritate you. They only do that because you're in contact. Sure. There it is. I'd like to hear your thoughts on what happened on the 4th of October regarding this privilege that was taken away from us, whether it be an accidental thought or an overload like they claim, it makes no difference. But this privilege was disappeared from the social media world for a few hours. How did it affect you? What were you thinking? What were you doing? What did you do with all this extra spare time? Let us know in the comments after you've done all the YouTube admin. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, pick call. Tell all your friends, tell all your family. We would like to hear your story. Yes. But for now, this is Mark and Laura from Color Changeworks. And we will speak to you soon. Bye.